Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial we'll see how to create this crack portrait poster that you can see in here using Adobe Shop and then we'll see how to use it as a photo template so you can go back and apply the same effect to other picture if you want and we'll be using all this texture that you can see in here and you'll find a link down in the description below where you can download all this texture in here alright fantastic so let's get to it Alright, so open your new Photoshop and go to File, New and I'm gonna create a new document with the A4 size paper in here but feel free to choose whatever size you want and if you want to use the same uh, size I will be using just go to the preset and choose International Paper and in the size choose A4 and the resolution 300 and RGB uh, color uh, in the color mode and press OK Alright now the first thing that we're gonna do is to convert this background into a smart object. This way we can use it as a template later so we can modify any picture we want with the, any effect that we'll be using for this document. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose convert to smart object. And then I'm gonna double click to this and as you can see it will open in a new window in here. So I'm gonna paste the picture I want to use in this uh, background in here. So we'll go and I will choose this one in here and put it like this. And I will make it bigger by pressing Shift Alt like this, and then we're gonna place it around here. All right, something like that. And I will press Enter. Now, if I press Control S or you know go to File and choose Save, and when I close this, I will find this in here saved in the first document that we created as a, a smart object. All right, now we can uh, apply the cracks on this image in here. So we'll go and choose the first crack in here. We'll be using this one. I'm going to rotate it. All right, we're going to put it in here. And as you can see, because it's a white uh, wall, uh, we can easily, uh, just by changing the blending mode into multiply, it will, it will blend uh, perfectly. So if I change the blending mode to multiply, as you can see it will blend really uh, good but if i zoom a little bit you will find in here in the edges is still visible i don't know if you can see but you can tell that there is an edge of this texture in here so i'm gonna apply a layer mask to it and i'm gonna start like to get rid of this edge by a brush so i'm gonna choose brush and i will make this the opacity around 70 percent or 60 and the hardness around 40 and I'm gonna start the layering like this all right like this now I will go back and I'm gonna choose this uh, texture in here and I'll put it like this and this time I will put it around here let me just make it a little bit bigger maybe around here all right press enter I'm gonna change the blending mode again to multiply and we need to again just make it maybe like that and as you can see we need to get rid of the edges in here so I'm gonna apply another layer mask to this one in here and again I will grab a brush and I'm gonna start deleting the edges like this As you can see, it's really easy to do. Alright, I like this. Let me just delete this one like that. Alright, now I will go and I will load this the texture this time. And as you can see, it's not that white as the other uh, p uh, textures. If I change the blending mode to multiply, it won't fit that uh, good. So I'm gonna uh, reverse that, as you can see. I'm gonna make it normal again and what I'm gonna do I will right click and I'm gonna choose rasterize and I'm gonna convert it to a black and white by pressing ctrl shift u and then I will go to image adjustment and I'm gonna choose selective color this way I can play with the color of this texture so if I go to white 
and I'm gonna make uh, the black of the white into minus 100 as you can see it will add more white to it and if I go to the blacks I can add a little bit of shadow for, for the cracks like that just like so and in the neutral I'm gonna try to make it more whiter like that so this way it will fit perfectly with our blending mode in here I'm gonna press ok and I'm gonna change the blending mode to multiply again and as you can see it will really make a, a big difference uh, in our uh, texture in here you can just replace it all right I'm gonna uh, create a new layer mask to this again and again I will start deleting all this that I don't want to use from here and this one too no it gives you more control to choose what crack you want to use and what's not so I want to use this part I want this part but I want this in here not to be visible I'm gonna make the opacity a little bit down just to blend with the others in here all right Alright, I like this. As you can see, we still have in here a little bit. We need to get rid of this one in here and a little bit in there. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna go and grab another texture in here. This one in here. I'm gonna put it just like that. Let me see. It's around here press enter and as you can see it's the same one as the other one it's not white so I will uh, try to make it a little bit whiter so first I'm gonna rasterize it by right click and choose rasterize layer and then I'm gonna uh, make it black and white by pressing ctrl shift u and then I will go again to image adjustment I'm gonna choose selective color again and I will play with the white I make it minus 100 and as you can see it will make it more whiter and with the blacks we'll just make the cracks appear more all right something like so and we'll go to the neutral and we'll make it a little bit whiter like that and i'm gonna press ok and i'm gonna change the blending mode to multiply all right and i will try like to replace it somewhere in here gonna make it a little bit bigger by pressing ctrl t all right somewhere in here and I'm gonna press enter and again I'm gonna apply a layer mask to it I'm gonna start deleting uh, the cracks that I don't want to use for this one in here Now I'm gonna go and grab another texture uh, this time uh, this one in here I'm gonna open it like this and this time I will, this time I will replace it in here so we're gonna use this one to put our tags in here I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger like this and I'm gonna press enter and again I will uh, use the same one uh, the same method I used for the other ones I'm gonna right click and choose rasterize and I will go to image adjustment and I'm gonna choose selective color and I will play with the white and again with the blacks and to make the shadow appear more and in the neutral just a little bit 
we'll go to the black the shadow all right now i'm gonna change it to multiply and i will start deleting from here so i'm gonna apply a layer mask and i will start deleting all this i don't want to use so i just want to use this from here like this I don't want all this in here I'm gonna start to try to make it blend with the other cracks now I don't want to uh, uh, for this part in here to be uh, visible as this so I want it to be uh, under these cracks I want to be a wall under it as if this uh, picture is uh, getting cracked from a wall so I'm gonna try to make a wall under this uh, one in here so I will go and I'm gonna bring uh, my grunge uh, wall in here and I'm gonna put it open it in here I'm gonna press enter and this time I will put it under this uh, last crack that I used in here and I will take it and put it right in here and you can see it will make uh, this last crack appear better uh, like this and, and I will keep it like this and this time I will uh, make a layer mask again but this time I'm gonna try to get rid of all this except you know, this one in here so I really need to be careful let me just make this bring a little bit of the details in here so all I need to is to follow all the cracks that I have in here like this so we'll uh, go and uh, choose the layer mask in here I'm gonna make the hardness 100 and opacity 100 I'm gonna start the leading uh, from this wall in here like this And there you go it looks really good all right let's just uh, make all this in a group as you can see the reason why we put it under this if I take it this down it will hide all this uh, that we have under this crack and I want it to be uh, more visible and we can use this space to create uh, a text or whatever we want so I'm gonna uh, make everything in a group be selecting everything every crack in here and pressing ctrl G and I will call this cracks now we can apply a text in here you can use uh, this for like for a, a, a movie if you want so let's just call this tutorial let's call it video tutorial this I'm gonna adjust the spacing between here and the text I'm using it's called Arial Re Regular you'll find this in every PC so I'm gonna press Ctrl T and make it smaller like this all right Add. 
I'm gonna change the color to a white color like that and I'm gonna apply a drop shadow to this I'm gonna double click I'm gonna choose drop shadow and I will just follow the shadow that we have in here I'm gonna make it down a little bit like so and I'm gonna make the size like this with the opacity around 60 I'm gonna press OK all right and the last thing that we're gonna do is to apply an adjustment color so I'm gonna use a color lookup so we will go and choose the color lookup in here I'm gonna change this to uh, Kodak 52 18 uh, 23 83 in here and as you can see it will give it this really amazing effect that you can see in here and there you go now we have it as a photo template that we can use whenever we want on whatever image you want so uh, if I uh, double click to this one in here or let's just make a copy of this by pressing alt and put it one on the top I'm gonna make the fill zero and the opacity zero I'm gonna change it to put your image here and I will double click to it and as you can see it will open the first image that we just uh, we did in the in the first of the tutorial so if I change it to this image in here and I will make it bigger as you can see now if I save it by pressing ctrl s and if I will go back I will find it in here save as the first uh, uh, crack uh, effect that we just did in the first image in here so this way you can use it whenever we want on whatever image we want without going through the whole process again so i hope that you enjoyed and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching